Today I'm at East West Market. It's a Filipino grocery here in Bloomfield, New Jersey. I'm going to show you what to shop for in a Filipino grocery. We'll go through different ingredients, sauces, mixes, meats, and snacks. Philippines has one of the sweetest mangoes in the world, so you should definitely try these. This is a staple in any Filipino grocery. This is called salabat or ginger tea. So if you have a hoarse voice or you have a sore throat, this is a really good remedy. You don't usually see fresh calamansi here in the East Coast, so the next best thing is a calamansi extract. We use this for flavoring and as a dipping sauce. This is another favorite drink. It's a calamansi syrup or an extract, you just add water and it turns into calamansi juice. Really, really good. This is mung bean or mongo in Tagalog. This is the main ingredient of one of my favorite Filipino dishes and I'm gonna teach you how to cook it in a future video. Filipinos love to eat corned beef and these are two of the most popular brands. Of course, how can we talk about canned goods if we don't talk about Spam? We eat this for breakfast, lunch, merienda and dinner. It's a favorite. This is a popular brand of tuna. It's called Century Tuna. They have it in original and they have it with calamansi. Oh, I'm surprised that Sarangani Bay also has bottled bangus or milkfish. This looks really good. I think I'm gonna get one. This is my favorite dipping sauce. It's called pinakorat. It's a spiced coconut vinegar. And as you can see, you have to shake it well because there's uh, some settling. This goes really well with anything fried or anything grilled. I especially love this with uh, my lechon kawale or my longanisa for breakfast. Banana ketchup. A lot of people ask me, Raf, why is it red? Well, it's food coloring because you normally associate red with ketchup. This is a daing na bangus or milkfish. It's the national fish of the Philippines. As you can see, it's a type of white fish and all its fat is in the middle. This is a fish that's been marinated in vinegar. So you can also have it smoked or you can have it unmarinated so you can cook it in your own style. This is a great breakfast. You can pair this with garlic fried rice or sinangag. You just defrost this, fry it, and you're good to go. You can also use the pinakurat or the spiced coconut vinegar which I mentioned earlier with this. This is pork longanisa. Again, the pinakurat goes well with this. Tocino or sweet cured pork. They also have fried lumpia or spring rolls. These are really good. Every Filipino supermarket would have a section for halo-halo ingredients. So you have tapioca pearls, different types of mixed bean, makapuno or coconut strings. Makapuno strings, coconut. There's jackfruit here as well. Purple yam or ube. Ube. And there's kaong or sugar palm, uh, red mung beans, white beans. Yeah, so halo halo is a mix of all these different types of ingredients with ice, milk, and usually topped off with ube ice cream. This is the most popular brand for mixes. It's called Mamacitas. Here I have one for sinigang, which is a sour soup, and mungo guisado, which is that uh, mung bean uh, stew, which I mentioned earlier and we have a kare kare mix as well. Oh, they have a sisig mix right here, kapampangan style. There's tinola, and they also have a mix for pancit or stir-fried noodles. Here are a couple of my favorite snacks. This is nagaraya, and they have all sorts of flavors. You have garlic, you have hot and spicy barbecue. Ooh, $1.49, ding dong. Really crunchy. It has uh, cornic, green peas, peanuts. It's uh, mixed nuts. This is chippy. This is probably like the Doritos of the Philippines. This is Nova. This is another really popular one. Piatos. 
I ate this a lot when I was in grade school. Roller coaster. Of course, there's clover chips. There's a uh, Owishi. This is my favorite salt and vinegar cracklings. And of course, there's an entire rack filled with chicharron. So these are milk chocolate candies. Uh, one is called Chocnut. This is Honey. These are really popular to kids. Curly Tops, Filipino chocolate. And you have these chocolate mallow snacks. And also these uh, crunchy cookies. Here we have more traditional snacks. Polvoron. This is ube flavored polvoron. The classic polvoron right here. A cookie roll with powdered cashew inside. Cassava cookies. If you want to try Filipino snacks, please check out my website. I'm actually selling a gift box filled with Filipino goodies. The gift box is a great way to try Filipino snacks, or if you're missing home, or if you want to give it to a friend, it's a great gift. Oh, this is so random, but look at this very beautiful uh, house decoration. It's made from small shells. Kind of cool. What's the usually shopping here? Usually, mga Filipino. Mas marami, kasi mas marami kami nga Filipino product. Pero meron, meron din mga ibang lahi, tulad ng Vietnamese, Taiwanese, Korean, yung mga Chinese, at oh. India. Ito ang mga bestseller dito tulad ng mga Skyflakes. Yung pandesal, yung mga chips, like chippy, pulburon, pansit canton. Gusto gusto nila yan. Hi! I-invite ko kayo sa East West. Meron kaming East West Market website or like us is in Facebook. Thank you! Punta kayo dito sa East West Market. Uh, lahat ng gusto niyong uh, bilhin na Filipino foods nandito lang. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. See you next week. It's called Pinakurat. It's a spiced coconut, huh? Spiced coconut, dama. So if you or a friend is craving, I'm craving. <laughs> uh, did you know that the Philippines is the third largest consumer of spam in the world? Oh my God, this is my. This is called Lumpiang Shanghai. It's like a Filipino spring roll. <laughs> spring roll. <laughs> These are cassava cookies. Ay mali pala. These are cassava. These are cassava cookies. Yeah.